Hello again my friends, Bungie's latest update is paving the way for House of Wolves, which drops May 19th. An example of this is the Reef's new map screen, which appears to show three new selectable destinations. Another example is the Vex Citadel, an area that will be accessible when House of Wolves drops. However, it's been possible to glitch into this area since the game launched. If you'd like to see how, click the link in the description box below. Now, after the update, the Vex Citadel has undergone a visual makeover. What I'm about to show you is how this area looked before the update and how it looks now after the update. Now, this is what the Vex Citadel looked like before the update, this particular area even had three collectible ghosts scattered amongst the Vex architecture. As you can see, the towering blocks obscure most of the sky, making this quite a dark place to explore, but there's no denying its distinct Vex design. Gravity defying blocks bathed in a bronze gold hue. There's no other area in Destiny that looks quite like the Vex Citadel. And here's what the Vex Citadel looks like after the update. It's a far more expansive space with less blocks dominating the horizon, which allows Bungie to show off the gorgeous skybox. This area has also been given a graphical polish. It feels far more atmospheric with lightning rumbling in the sky and wisps of mist occasionally blowing past. This area simply feels a lot more impressive since the update. Now it's likely that the House of Wolves third story mission called the World Ravager takes place here. The description for this mission reads, Skolas has his eyes set on the Vex Citadel on Venus. Capture him before he can plunder the secrets of space and time. Now Skolas is a fallen noble of the House of Wolves who had been captured by the Queen of the Reef and imprisoned in the Prison of Elders. Originally, the Queen intended to send him to the Nine as a gift, but he eventually ended up breaking free and led the House of Wolves rebellion against the Queen, setting himself up as Kel in the process. It seems like a pretty intriguing story Line, and I hope that the House of Wolves itches that narrative scratch. Thankfully, there's not too long to wait now. Thumbs up if you enjoyed the video, subscribe for daily Destiny content, and thanks for watching, you beautiful bastard. And as always, tea until next time, Guardians.